Hearing more of God's word will give you great faith. When you hear and believe, your faith is great. Don't hear and doubt. Hear and believe. And your faith will, your faith will increase. The more you hear and believe, the more faith you have. Even though you have a lot of faith, that doesn't mean it's going to work. And you know what? Many, many, many Christians suffer there. They got a lot of faith that doesn't work much. Weak faith cannot do anything. Even though it's big faith, it's only big, weak faith. So how can that weak faith become strong? By exercising that faith. Putting your faith to work. Now some of you here, you have never led someone to Christ. You, you can't think of a single person right now that you ever led to Christ. But you believe if you did speak, you'd be able to do something. But you haven't done it. So why haven't you done it? Hearing more of God's word will give you great faith. When you hear and believe, your faith is great. Don't hear and doubt. Hear and believe. And your faith, will, your faith will increase. The more you hear and believe, the more faith you have. But you see, then there's weak faith. Your faith can be much and weak. Surprise? Have you ever seen someone who, when you're praying, maybe, maybe it doesn't happen to you. But it does happen to some people. Some people you know. Here you are praying and studying the Bible and your faith goes, wow! But then when you meet the real situation, you go, oh my God. So that's a lot of faith, but weak. So there's weak faith and then there's strong faith. So even though you have a lot of faith, that doesn't mean it's going to work. And you know what? Many, many, many Christians suffer there. They got a lot of faith that doesn't work much. And they don't know why. They don't know what I'm telling you now. That's why. So why isn't it working? I know I believe. Now, they'll be angry if you told them they didn't believe enough. So, Come on, I believe. So why isn't it working? Yeah, you got much faith, but it's weak. Have you ever seen a big guy with weak muscles? He's big. Come on. Have you ever seen them? Huge fellow. But he's, he's weak. What is he supposed to do? Eat more? Now, how did he become big? By eating. How did your faith increase? By what? Hearing. Eating God's word. You grew big. Big faith. The guy grew large from McDonald's. <laughs> so when you eat a lot, you become big. Big and all your body will be shaking, you know, as you go. <laughs> but he's weak. You tell him to run, and he can't run. He can't do anything. He does a little work and he's panting. <gasps> but he's big. So he said, Come on, you're big. Come on, do it. You're big. No, it's not in being big. So what's he going to do? I tell you. Weak faith cannot do anything. Even though it's big faith. It's only big, weak faith. So how can that weak faith become strong? By exercising that faith putting your faith to work acting your believing you've got
got to train yourself. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. Some blunders will be there. But you're learning. So God has an allowance for your errors. And you're learning. But put it to work. Do it. Now, for some of you, you have never led someone to Christ. There's some of you here, you have never led someone to Christ. You, you can't think of a single person right now that you ever led to Christ. But you believe if you did speak, you'd be able to do something. But you haven't done it. So why haven't you done it? Now, you say, dear Lord Jesus, I'm going to talk to someone. I'm going to win several souls to Christ today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Then you get in the bus or somewhere or you're wherever you know you meet someone and then you want to talk your heart starts pounding should i say anything should i how do i begin <clears throat> until that fellow leaves and you say oh lord jesus i should have done it you miss that one again big faith but weak faith so what do you do start what if I make a mistake? Make it. But start. A learner is not perfect overnight. Start. Make your mistake and walk your way to perfection. So you start. Open your mouth. And remember the word of God. You can trust the Holy Ghost. He says, open your mouth and I'll feel it. I'll put words in your mouth. He's telling you how surprised you are. That's the Holy Ghost. He will surprise you. Start. And when you start, your faith will increase. See, not increase, get strengthened. You see, see when, when you start talking to someone about Jesus, your faith will be strengthened for the next time. Now, whether or not that fellow accepted what you said is not the most important thing. The Bible says, Paul watered, Paul sowed or planted rather. Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Your responsibility is to sow the seed and the seed is the word of God. Go ahead and sow it. Maybe the next person that talks to that fellow will finally get into Jesus. But one day when you stand before the Lord, he's going to praise you and thank you and tell you, you actually planted the seed that worked. You say, Lord, but that fellow didn't give his heart to Christ. He'll say, hold on, I'll show him to you. And then he comes out and you see that and your joy will be full. Praise God. Some of us are leading people to Christ, but we are only watering what someone else already planted. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. So what's important is for you to sow the seed. Go ahead and talk. Don't worry. He might argue. He might say, no, 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 no. But go ahead and say it. He may not sleep tonight for just the statement you made. And the next morning he's going to be looking for somebody to explain to him how to be saved. Because you asked him a simple question. Are you saved? And he said, no, no, no. I'll have none of that. No, no, no. But he couldn't forget your question. Are you saved? It'll haunt him all day long. He go to bed thinking, why did that? Why did I ever meet such a fellow? How could he ask me, are you saved? What kind of stupid question is that? And he can't sleep. He keeps turning all over the oh, Are you saved? Oh. And then the angels, you know the angels, they know how to carry on the ministration. They keep saying, saying Are you saved? The next day, he'll tell somebody, I had a funny dream last night. He'll say, I met a stupid fellow who asked me a stupid question. And I couldn't forget it. What was it? I don't like to repeat it. <laughs> but you know what? He would find out. You see, you would have sowed the seed. So sow the seed. Sow it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.